You're listening to Tim Bolkley's 5-Minute Bible The Structure and Organization of the Book of Jonah The Book of Jonah is not just beautifully told It's not just hilarious It's also very neatly and finely balanced The story comprises four acts And each act is roughly the same length And if you're following an English translation The four acts correspond exactly to the four chapters there is a slight disagreement at the end of chapter 1 as we'll see with the Hebrew and the Greek if the four acts are the four chapters more or less Act 1 concerns some pagan sailors who convert and a storm at sea Act 2 is almost entirely Jonah talking to God Act 3 concerns the Ninevites who convert and an excessive repentance Act 4 is about God talking with Jonah You see the balance? Two chapters, 1 and 3, where pagans convert And two chapters, 2 and 4, of conversation between God and Jonah Except that in chapter 2, God can't get a word in edgeways So how does this look? Act 1 is chapter 1 It contains an introduction, scene 1 Jonah's commission in the first three verses of chapter 1 Scene 2 On the ship in a storm Comprises verses 4 to 16 Verse 17 of chapter 1 Which in the Hebrew and the Greek Is the first verse of chapter 2 Forms a kind of bridge between the two chapters And I've noted this phenomena of bridge verses Before So you should be familiar with it It provides a link That joins chapter 1 and chapter 2 Act 2 in the English is chapter 2 in the Hebrew and Greek it's chapter 2 verse 2 to the end of chapter 2 and it comprises scene 3 in the belly of the fish except there's no description of what it being in the belly of the fish is like and all those pictures we have um, are more likely to come from cartoon stories than they are from the Bible there's an introduction in 2-1 or 2-2 in the Hebrew and Greek and then the rest of the chapter up to verse 9 at least is Jonah's psalm of thanksgiving in which Jonah gives thanks presumably for his salvation from a watery death by being swallowed by this fish the last verse of the chapter 2-10 or in the Hebrew and Greek 2-11 forms the bridge to chapter 3 chapter 3 is act 3 the Ninevites converted there's an introduction of three verses just like the introduction to chapter 1 act 1 and it gives a second commissioning of Jonah it's so alike that we can't help but hear the echoes and can't help therefore but be predisposed to hear chapter 3 as a kind of echo of but a, a riff upon a change on chapter 1 Scene 5 comprises most of the rest of the chapter, verses 4 to 9 and it's set in Nineveh and the last verse of the chapter again forms a bridge telling us of God's response to the Ninevite repentance which sets up the conversation between God and Jonah in Act 4 which is chapter 4, verses 1 to 11 Scene 6 is where God asks Is it right for Jonah to be angry? in verses 1 to 4 of chapter 4 Scene 7 is set outside Nineveh we weren't sure where scene 6 was set and there God asks a second time is it right for Jonah to be angry and in, at the end of this little scene in verses 10 and 11 God provides the punchline for the book simple, neat, balanced and regular just like everything else in the book of Jonah this is fine storytelling carefully crafted and polished what does it all mean? well it means that we should notice the echoing between the two halves of the book and we should most certainly notice the big difference between Jonah's triumphant psalm of thanksgiving in chapter 2 celebrating the salvation which God has given to him and the rather less clear cut conversation between God and Jonah in which God plays the major role in chapter 4 because that's the key to the book 
God bless.